What's going on everyone? You're welcome once again to David Data Channel. It is your first time here. I'm really excited to have you here. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can notify once a new video drops in. Alright, so on today's video, we're going to be continuing our DBT series and we're going to be talking about DBT variables or project variables. Even working with um, programming languages like Python, you are able to um, create variables or assign um, values to variables. Now, you can also do the same thing in DBT, right, as it allows you flexibility to um, use those variables or different points in your DBT project. And um, variables can be defined in two ways. One, globally in the DBT uh, project YAML file or using the command line. So, so let's take this to our uh, dbt underscore project yaml file and see what we can do there okay so i'm just going to add this var here okay um from our customer table i'm going to do something okay so we have some customers here miriam mildred so i'm going to create a variable i'm going to call this variable ceo I'm going to say Anna is the CEO. I'm going to assign Anna to CEO variable. All right. So let me just quickly do a. I'll just save this. Okay. Let me quickly do something. So let me just say select star from um, customers. Yeah. Where. And then how do we call the variable? We call the variable using this function. So I'll say where um, first name is equal to this variable CEO. So because it's a string, we're going to put um, envelope it with a string here. So let's see. And then you see it returns Anna right that's the big thing yeah really this is really how your variable works so let's say if i wanted to add a new column to this and uh, let's see yeah i wanted to add a column that um, would specify if is a c or not so i could see um customer customer dot first name is equal to the variable string c o so this is like a shorter way of, of saying if a customer first name is equal to this variable, then yes, else yes. Yeah. So this is short way. So this is going to um, create a, a boolean, a yes or a true or a false. Uh, I'm going to say as um, a CEO. It's going to return the true or false. So I'm just going to run this. So Anna is the first name. You see return CEO as true and the rest is false. And see, once we do DBT run, it hits our um data warehouse so the second way of um using variables would be through your command line right as it shows here um your command line um running variables or declaring variables from the command line is much more appropriate when your variables change frequently you can declare your variables on dbt um, project.yama file when your variables do not change frequently right when they really change you can declare it on a global level to be used within the whole project but then with this uh command line you can declare your variable with the um, VARS with the key and the value and you, you can declare this within the command line in your dbt project right uh, so the VAS the VARS argument accepts the YAML dictionary um, yeah with the key and value and then there's also something about this precedence right so once you're declaring or calling a variable via the command line it takes the highest precedence next to when you have a variable declared in a package level within your project then before it now um goes for variables declared in a global level on your dbt underscore previous yaml file right so if you have pro um, variables in your global a, a variable defined as something else globally in your project defined as something else in a package level and then you call that variable on through the command line this is the one that would be executed so remember that we did um dbt run for uh for anna right as anna being that Anna is our CEO, we said dbt run um, select customers. So 
once we do this it's going to hit our uh, data warehouse and return Anna as true for CEO so let us do this using our um, command line even though we have that variable uh, there already in the package on the package level so just put this and add this guy in here and then we will see our key is CEO and our value is let's give to Adam and then we run all right successful so let's see our bigquery if we refresh this now We check okay we have it in here preview so we have is is okay we have a CEO so let me just quickly check for through just hundred rules so I don't need to query I'll see it with my eyes okay through and this returns either so really this is how your um dbt uh project variable works right uh i hope you got a thing or two out of this video thanks so much to meet again in the next video